Yeah, to look at a highlight from Jeremy Pena's bat. It's time for the best interview in baseball presented by Zoom. But we got to first talk about the glove God. for JP because Kev, for the first time ever, a rookie shortstop has won the Rawlings Gold Glove. Jeremy, thanks for coming on the show again. What is that piece of hardware that you're going to have to lug around with you everywhere <laughs> you go now? What's it mean to you? Thank you guys for having me on the show. I mean, when I go glove, you dream of this as a kid, you know, especially me, you know, growing up, I took a lot of pride in my defense. You know, I was always little, small, so defense was something I had to do. You know, and shout out to my coaches, you know, Joe Espada, Omar Lopez, my teammates, Alex Bregman, Jose Altuve, Yuli, picking everything at first base, you know, and uh, <laughs> I've never seen anyone like him at first base, so uh, it's cool to play with those guys. We got mutual friends now, you know, your boy Nick that you talked about the first time you were on the show a couple weeks ago who does a lot of work with A-Rod, but it was funny. We were at a Spurs game talking about you, and you guys are boys and roommates. But something like this, you know, gold glove, they don't realize the work that goes into this situation. Now, when you go into spring training all offseason, when do you start preparing and the work that puts into getting gold? Because it's only one of those. Right. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into it. You know, a lot of ups and downs in season. You know, a lot of adjustments you got to make in season. And, uh, yeah, my team has kept me grounded. My coaches, you know, they knew exactly what I had to work on, so shout out to them. So, look, Jeremy, you, you beat out Xander Bogarts and your old friend Carlos Correa. First of all, have you texted or received a text from Carlos since it was announced that you got the gold? I have not received anything from him, no. Look, well, we know when you took over the shortstop job, and it was like, well, he's going to have to step in and fill Carlos Correa's shoes. You were just worried about being the best version of yourself, right? And the last time we had you on, you told us a phenomenal story when you were a kid. and smashing eggs and your pops hey don't let those eggs hit the ground that's right make sure you hit them so that helped you with your hand eye with the bat anything from your childhood to help hone the skills defensively i mean we always had fun with it you know defense in the backyard you know wall ball you know i grew up watching a lot of ozzy smith you know my my dad that was his, his teammate so we grew up watching a lot of ozzy smith and he used to preach wall ball drills and so it's something you could do by yourself. So I would just go in my backyard, play with my brothers, and you know, have fun. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, we're here to celebrate your gold glove and these awesome plays. Yeah. We're also here to celebrate, I mean, this play right here. This is a wizard Come play. Come on. Come on. Play with it. I mean, the, 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 the whiz, that was what it's all about right there, by the way. But we're here to celebrate you being on the show three times in the last couple oh. weeks that we truly appreciate. You got Mojo coming, I'm telling you. You got Mojo <laughs> coming. Can we bring we out have, the cupcakes, got, please? And we got three cupcakes. Oh, we got third cupcakes. IT appearance Man. in three weeks. Our thir thir I don't. You can eat those after the game tonight, yeah. not before. Before. But that's oh. our gift for you for being here. We're going to give parting gifts. We're going to give you a salary because that, you're a TV <laughs> star now, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's awesome. I don't think cupcakes are are a part of the the pregame fuel. No. That's. Close. I mean, I would I would count it out. You know. Oh, some days, okay. Some days, some days, you know, whatever gets into you. You know, you want some sweet, but. So the, yeah. the, this is a it's a rare and exclusive club. A three-time guest on IT. I think you're the first to ever do it within the span of three weeks. Um, first of all, sorry that we keep doing this to you. No. Like, you keep drawing the short straw. It's a star. You got to tell your teammates, I can't do intentional talk anymore. <laughs> Save me from them. Uh, but uh, I, we enjoy when we get to talk to you guys and we get to know a little bit about your past. And part of that for you is being a black bear at the University of Maine. Yes, and sir. Kevin threw in at you, hey, who's your favorite hockey player? And you're like, real quick, Jeremy Swayman. Yes, sir. And we got a special message from your boy Sway. Roll it. Hey Jeremy, Jeremy here. I uh, heard what you said about me, really appreciate those kind words and I could definitely say right back you were my favorite player at Maine. Uh, it was fun to watch you play and obviously seeing the su success you're having now. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best at the World Series and bring another championship home at Houston. Uh, all the best to you, you're making the Black Bears proud. Man, that's pretty cool, man. That's awesome. You know, shout out to him. No, he was the man. I was his fan, you know, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. One, one serious baseball question, like, you know, a day like yesterday, you come in, you're ready to play, right? This is game three of the World Series. We know weather was a factor, but all of a sudden it gets canceled. Mentally, how do you how do you go about something like that? Is this like, all right, boom, mentally I'm going to go back to the tapes and watch some. They switch their pitcher up. You got Ranger on the mound night instead of Noah. You know, how, how does that as a player side? 
I mean, I say the the toughest part is not knowing what was going to happen. You know, we we try to stay locked in the whole day because there's a chance that we might play. But once they cancel the game, you know, they they switch the pitcher, and you know, you just go back to your scouting report and build a plan and show up the next day and get ready to go. Uh, Jeremy, so before we get to uh, the rapid fire. Uh, or do you want, Kev, you want to hit some rapid fire questions? Real quick? We're just going to do a survey, so we're not going to do any rapid no fire. Rapid so fire. I got a nice okay. survey for Jeremy, and this is going to be an easy one for him. So we have a survey with all of our three time guests, like Justin Turner and stuff like that, and Stephen Boat, guys have been on. So, question one Do you feel we were warm and accepting as host? Of course. You guys are the man, you know, your family oh, now, family. That's now. right. See? Thanks, Jake. Family. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Question two On a scale of one to ten, mi sangre. Yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how do you rate your experience on the show? Man, I gotta give you guys an eleven. You know, you guys. Jeremy, you're ace in the God, I love him. Nick, <laughs> you're exactly survey. right. He's the best guy in the world. And question three on a scale of one to ten, how likely are you to recommend coming on the show to a friend or a teammate? I'll give it an eleven again. You That's know? what I'm talking about, now. Like JP, are you a believer in the power of Kevin's IT mojo? Because we had you on one time, you had a knock in a postseason game. He had you on again, then you come through with an RBI double. It, is you even up the series? Are you a believer? Are we going to see some more mojo tonight? I mean, I hope so. I hope so. If not, you know, I know who to come after. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want any more of those biceps, bro. Uh, so, Kevin, uh, the, the crew back home, they mocked up something because Jeremy Payne has got something to add to his trophy case. We're adding it to the intentional talk trophy case right next to your. My your, range factor. I, I still don't know what range factor means. It, I, I led the league up, one year in left field, and that was like my war, so my range was phenomenal and I couldn't run. That's a made up stat, is it? Isn't it? I don't know. Matt, Tell me. It's a real stat on baseball reference, and 1 5 led the league in it one year. So we are really disgracing <laughs> Jeremy Pena's gold glove, putting it next to. Hey, so Kev, you hold up the cupcakes. JP, you hold up your Rawlings gold glove. Gold glove. Your teammates, your family back. Whoa, whoa! I didn't Our even gift. know it came off like that. Yeah. Stevie, cool. I thought it was That's one big cool, piece. Man. There, there's our cup. Oh no! I can't go any further, guys. It's going to come out. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin Jeremy's present. Do not. Jeremy Payne, in all seriousness, JP, congratulations. Okay, and best of luck here in Game Three the rest of the season. Hopefully, you don't talk to us again. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys for having me on the show. Appreciate He's the it. man, Jeremy Pena, first rookie shortstop ever to win a Rawlings Gold Glove. How about that?